you're going somewhere, Tim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fraser <laughs> Island next stop. <laughs> Once we'd been on the road for half an hour or so, I pulled over to check that everything was tight and the boat was sitting properly on the trailer. Considering all of the changes that had been made, it was performing really well and nothing had moved. Even better than that, we made it all the way to Harvey Bay without needing to make another adjustment. Everything performed beautifully. This is Zach's third time on the water with me and the second time sailing Mozart. She's looking pretty sharp after her refit. Everything's going together very nicely indeed. Josh, on the other hand, has never been on a boat before, let alone sail. She's my believer. Healing all my doubts, a lighted mirror reflecting out every true potential. A bedrock belief in a library plot to set this bird free. Every element is based, every color is attached. She paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ancient memory. Just as fleeting as a breeze, she paints a picture blue and green. Josh is a very fast learner, and he thought he'd have a go at this cleat hitch thing, and didn't do a bad job. Carl, seeing that he was struggling, decided to demonstrate how it's done. Now you go under, round, over, across, back, and then you flip it away, or was that towards? Not quite sure. Never mind, it's really ended up well. And I've seen sailors of 20 or 30 years experience do a worse job. Pity to undo all his handiwork, but he made it really easy for Zach to cast off. And I release them to the sea for the ancient memories. Just as fleeting as a breeze, she paints pictures blue and green. And I release them to the sea. How are you enjoying this, Josh? Oh, I'm doing great. It's just, you know, steering the boat. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? You look pretty experienced. Oh, uh, yeah, about five years now. Yeah. Five years? Yeah. Was that five years or? Uh, five, five minutes, Five minutes, I guess. yeah. <laughs> Carl's decided to reward us for all our hard work with a sumptuous lunch. What's that thing that's falling there? Is that a shark? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we missed the favourable southeasterly trade winds from last week. So for several hours we battled a way north against the current and against the wind from the north. And then after using half of our fuel supply, we turned back and made camp for the night at Sandy Beach, which is about opposite Harvey Bay. After several hours cramped in that little boat, the boys decide to go for a bit of a swim and then finish off with an amazing display of athleticism. Carl and I decided to sit it out. We didn't want to show them up. Be alive with me you wasted too much time Like the stars in me I feel so alive We'd been expecting a visit from some dingoes overnight, so we made all the necessary precautions, keeping the food and scraps under control. But they didn't turn up, and as it was, we were on a little island off the coast of Fraser where they'd have had to swim to get there. 
Once we've packed up, we headed across to the northern end of Great Woody Island for a dive where there was reputed to be a lot of brain coral. I will always have open eyes of come alive. Zach and Josh were not disappointed and they soon found themselves swimming amongst some really good examples. My dear A solitary blue groper has found a home for himself under a shelf of some bleached coral. I'm not even going to try and give a name to this incredible little yellow fish that they discovered. I've crewed on a couple of boats that raised a spinnaker, but I've never raised one myself. This is the first time on this boat. Of course our crew is first time on a boat ever, and two that have had two short sailing lessons with me. So all in all, worked out beautifully. We had a nice spinnaker run in about five knots, and then we motored the rest of the way, arriving just in time to set up camp at Ungoa near the old rangers camp. Tomorrow we're planning to head down to deep water which is directly over the bow of the boat there, which is an old logging camp with an amazing history and several wrecks to have a look at. A miracle I have seen A miracle Blessed days With you in the corner of my arm I have seen A miracle I have seen The sun, it shines, it shines for you The grass is green, the sky is blue And there you are, like you are You're feeling so natural Find your blue-eyed way My darling, we'll guide you But you find it on your own Amazing grace How sweet the sound is to me I have seen a miracle 
I have seen a miracle The earth is here, it's here for you The seven fish, the owls too And there you are, like you are Feeling so natural Find your blue-eyed way My darling will guide you But you'll find it on your own Oh, farewell mm -hmm. By the beauty of your life Don't let the tranquility of this scene fool you because rolling its way towards the shore is the wake from that passing cruiser and it's a trap for young players on the Great Sandy Strait. Here we are pulled up on a little patch of sand with rocks either side so we needed to keep a keen eye out on passing vessels and get ready to uh, rescue the boat if need be. We'd hate to damage that wonderful paintwork. The campsite at Ungoa is elevated over the Great Sandy Strait, giving you a beautiful view out across to Harvey Bay. The jetty was washed away in a cyclone several years ago and was never repaired. It's left a fairly steep access to the campsite, but you're well rewarded when you get to the top. Zach and Josh are setting about preparing the evening meal for us. And then Josh and I are going to head back down to Deep Water Creek where we're going to anchor for the night and come back and pick these guys up early in the morning. Saratoga is going to be our dive site today. The slower pace, the salty breeze, and the waves. No matter our place. Oh, it is right. 
right now. What did I do, sir? Leave it tied around your foot. Okay, sir. Now flip it. No, nope. sir. No, he's good. He's good. Nice. He's good. Setting the anchor is not just a matter of throwing it over the side and then dumping all the chain on top of it. This old fella came along beside us, covered in barnacles, just to check it out. He seemed pretty pleased with Josh's handiwork. First the anchor, then the chain laid nicely out behind it and in reverse to drive it into the sand. Josh wasn't confident in just taking some old turtle's word for it, so he decided to leap over the side and check it out for himself. I've never known a love so steady even gold won't turn your tide We flow together like an ocean Every low and every high And I would have you any way, dear Any way your heart could bear Even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting here When we are apart, I will keep you in my heart, and I wouldn't change a thing, even if I were the king. On a brighter sunset But every day I see it rise I never thought it could be better Until I saw it in your eyes Even when we are apart I will keep you in my heart I will hold the world at bay Time begins to fade. I will love you just the same, and I wouldn't change a thing, even if I were the king. That's a truly impressive catch, Josh. I have no idea how you managed to spear a target so small.
There's a shipwreck there too. In some ways I don't want to interrupt our slow TV. It's mesmerising just exploring Deepwater Creek. Deepwater Creek was the location of some of the very last logging activity on Fraser Island back in the 70s. As recently as the 90s, with brush box supplies of timber beginning to run out in New South Wales and Queensland, I had a timber flooring business. Brush box had become one of the staple items for timber floors. So when the land based timber was locked up, we were encouraged to start looking further afield and Fraser Island was in our targets. I'm so glad that the conservationists managed to stop logging on the island and now we can enjoy the beauty of some majestic forests in the centre of Fraser Island.
So you don't shock anybody, surprise anybody. So have you said ready about? Did you say ready about? No, not yet. Okay. So when I say it, I push the thing away from me, right? Correct. Okay. Ready about! up in the morning in this great blue state golden fingers caress my face slips through the window on a silky breeze a dreamer's life to plant some seeds the guys were enjoying the perfectly flat conditions in the great sandy strait when the trade winds came in blowing from the southeast at about 15 to 25 knots. It was a great time to hone some skills and get a bit of practice and some repetitions in going about. We even had an opportunity to practice heaving two on the flat waters in the stiff breeze. Heaving two is a pretty good way of handling a man overboard situation. As fleeting as a breeze She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea How we lay in the sunset the sail that we had for an hour or so was a great reward for all the months of scraping, sanding, filling, and then sanding and scraping and filling again. It felt really good to have Mozart back on the water again. Every color this it takes, she paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ancient memories, just as fleeting as a breeze. By now, the sun was taking on the amber glow of the evening. So we pulled back up to our campsite at Ungoa and moved up onto the headland to sit and watch the sun go down over Harvey Bay.
water drops off sharply over a ledge down to the depths of the Great Sandy Strait. It's quite convenient for anchoring close to shore. Shelter from the storm down there. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a fog coming in. Got our night light on. Got our light on. Yeah. Pretty gloomy, eh? Yeah. 